I promise that this video is going to touch you in some way or form. If that is something that you will be interested in, come on, let's get into this video. All right, everybody, it's going to be a good one. Hi, everybody, and happy Tuesday. All morning, we have been in the 50s. I am like, it is, all the windows are open, the wind is whipping through, the curtains are flying, the breeze is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, and the air smells crisp. It's actually a cup of tea, sort of afternoon. I've got my princesses with me. Um, but where am I beginning with this? We have a lot. We have a lot, right? I was thinking about my videos and I was thinking like, my videos are almost like they're, they read like a book. If you miss one, you miss something, right? Um, because I bring a little bit of real life into every video and each video kind of segues for the next video because I bring content every day to you all. So with that being said, before I get into this, I want to show you this. I went to the mail today because we had a lot of orders, physical orders this week that I had to get into you, out to you. Um, two people are not getting their orders until the end of the week. If you ordered a binder, I might not have had your color in stock. There's just two people. Just know that it will be put in the mail on Friday. Okay. And I'll probably send you a, an email as soon as I can. So when I went there, I actually got to go to my P.O. box. And Laura Bell Creations sent me a gift. Does that surprise you? Like this little icon? No. Today, I actually had the opportunity to take some time and I had to watch the hop. Now, last week... I did watch Craft and Budget with Ann, and I watched Andra, the Traveling Savings Chief, but I watched them when I didn't have my binder with me. So what happens? I watch them, and then I've got to come back and rewatch them. I thought that I stuffed my envelopes. Funny as it may be, if you caught Laura Bell's video, like I started Laura Bell today, and I'm thinking... Why do I have so much money here? Then I had to go back and because I date, I date my trackers in advance. I realized I didn't, I did not, I did not track since Craft and Budget was on, even though I did watch her. So I took the time and I grabbed a cup of coffee this morning and I watched Craft and Budget with on. I watched The Traveling and Savings Chief, and then I got to Laura Bell Creations. Yeah, today's Tuesday, and Laura was last Thursday. First of all, can we talk? Talk about the dedication of the channels that participate in this hop. Laura forgot. She thought she uploaded. It happens. It happens to the best of us. I forgot to hop one day. It was my son's birthday back in June. Miss Mary Love. She calls me. She's like, is everything okay? I'm like, yeah, why? We're having a good time. You know, it's Vinny's birthday. It's my grandson's birthday. She's like, you didn't do the hop. And I went, oh my gosh. So I can never get mad at you all. Life happens. YouTube is, is secondary. I mean, if it got to us late, that was okay. But do you know that Laura left work on her lunch hour, ran home, did that video for us? Holy moly. That is what I meant by the word dedication. Then I went over to Miss Save with Judy. Judy, you did a great job. Poor Judy. She hasn't been able to ring the bell for the hop yet. <laughs> I'm going to have to maybe like figure out like when it might ring 
and give you that date, but it's so hard because I'm two weeks ahead. Judy, I want, I want you to ring the bell. I really do. And then today was budget and chaos. She does, she brings such amazing energy to the hop and she actually double saves on the hop days, right? She does an extra bonus for herself. And recently she explained how she had to break into that envelope and use the funds in there. And as budget and savers, we all understand how difficult that is to do because we just want to keep saving, saving, saving. So if you haven't checked out Budget and Chaos, please go check her out. And then Frugality is Life in Life. Frugality is Life. Excuse me, Fiona. I'm so sorry. Get Frugality is Life goes on Thursday. Then we got Maris, Jack, and Mandy. They're all coming up. So the calendar is linked down below. And I plan on working on the new one today. I like to tell you what time of day it is. I really do. Um, right now it is uh, 1544 hours, which makes it 344 PM. So funny thing is I watched Laura today. I had messaged Laura and then I go to my PO box and this is in my PO box from her. So it says, Mrs. Donna, I was creating and thought of you. I hope you love them. Love Laura Bell. Now, do you all know that I had the honor of meeting her? The last time I was, was it the last time? It was in Florida. She and Lisa and Shell met me at Downtown Disney and we went to um, the Rainforest Cafe together. Okay. Oh my gosh, she's getting ready for fall. Look at this. Get your fat pants ready. Oh, turkey. Oh, oh, this is adorable. Go check out Laura Bell Creations. Oh my goodness, girl. You knocked these out of the park. Oh, I am in love. Okay. Loving getting ready for Thanksgiving. Look at my boy. You see him? Ah, oh, Laura. Super quick, super cute. Oh my gosh. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look at him. Oh my gosh. Oogie boogie. Oh, uh, this is one of my favorite icons, images. It really is. Love this. Oh, she's cute. These are all scratch offs. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are going to come in handy. Thank you so, so much for thinking of me. I absolutely love them. It looks like maybe um, Halloween is going to last longer than what I thought it was going to last. Thank you, Laura. I greatly appreciate that. So up my alley. Yep. Okay. On a serious note, the fun stuff was beautiful, right? Do you know, popcorn never agrees with me. It always gets stuck in my throat. And I, I still eat it anyway sometimes. And then I eat it and I go, I'm never eating it again. And it takes like a year for me to eat it again. Then I go, that's why you didn't eat it, Donna. Okay, here's the serious note going to my faith binder. So, you know what? Stand by. I have to bring him in. Do you see how absolutely beautiful he is? Now, I have two windows in my office, right? Above the two windows, I have a shelf. On one shelf on that side is vintage toys. On this shelf is religious statues. And where I sit, I can see them perfectly. This is St. Michael, the archangel, right? And lately I have been talking about him. And I don't touch him often because I feel like he is fragile. 
This is from, you see what this is from? This is from the Bradford Exchange. Whatever year this came out, I said to my husband, I really would like this for my birthday. And it, like it came out in January and he ordered it. And for my birthday that year, this was here. Can you just see that? You, let's see. Look, look at how beautiful. So with the, and, and just amazing, right? So with the things that happened, right? I woke up yesterday morning and needed to add a St. Michael challenge to my faith binder. Now, a few of you have emailed me. I did not get it up yesterday. I promise you it will be up before this video actually goes live. Now, this is long, but I promise you it's going to be so worth it. One of our villagers, she left me a message this morning that had me on the edge of my seat. Nika leaves me a beautiful message every morning. When I wake up, there's a, a message underneath my video from the night before calling me sweet sister, right? And then she talks to me while I usually have my morning coffee. Today, she told me, in fact, I should tell you what she did, said, not did, but she left me hanging. Nika, you left me hanging. This was the comment under yesterday's video. Good morning, sweet sister. I had to stop watching the video because you spoke again about St. Michael. I'm going to send you an email about the dream I had when I was about 19 years old. It is still something I think about often. I will finish watching your video later. Right now, I really need to get my thoughts in order and I don't think I can concentrate on your video. It's nothing bad, but it has put me in a bit of a spin. Again, nothing bad. It's all great. I love you, sis. Okay. So I went on my day, and trust me, I promise you it's worth listening to. I went on with my day, and I believe... When she got a chance, she wrote me this amazingly long email. For a girl that has lots of paper in her room, I couldn't find a piece. I just wanted to accent him. Nika sent me this extremely long letter. And she said that I could share it. So I think it's so important because I want you to take what's been happening, place it within your realm, so to say, right? And know the goodness that comes from this. Good morning, sweet sister. This is a long one, but you better refresh your coffee. I hope this letter finds you in a great mood. I will finish the video after work today. I'm currently at work writing this email. Shh, don't tell anyone. When I was about 19 going to college, I had a very strange dream. And I wrote the dream as a story for one of my classes. It was a very intense dream and has stayed with me all these years. And yes, it has to do with St. Michael, Archangel Michael. I am not a police officer and I'm not military, but I do consider Michael to be one of my guardians. I truly believe he has been with me from birth. He has showed himself to me through a dream. I'm going to do my best to remember how I wrote the paper and rewrite it for you. I don't mind if you decide to share with the village. Um, but I feel the need to tell you about it. So here we go. This is the dream. I'm walking along a street in what seems to be a city full of people, but also deserted. People are not engaging and are moving quickly onto whatever errand, whatever, whatever errand they have set their mind to. The city feels dark and a feeling of oppression weighs on my shoulders. I walk along slowly, deep in my thoughts and pay no attention to the direction I'm going. I feel a pull, a tug at my very soul. 
and I move in that direction. I turn the corner to find myself walking down a deserted street. There are no people, there are no noises. The street lamps are either dimmed or my vision is clouded. The street bothers me immensely. I stop and look around. There are houses on one side of the street. They look as though they were once beautiful homes, filled with children, toys, light, and love. However, they are now in despair. People, uh, perhaps it's the clouded vision or the dim lights, but they seem sad and lonely. On the other side of the street is a tall wall of what looks like bricks and stones held together with bits of crumbly concrete and mud. At the top of the wall, it looks like there is wrought iron fence with pointed crosses at the very top. I started to question why when I feel the pull and almost fall to the ground. My heart is racing and my palms are sweaty. What is going on? Why am I feeling a fear that goes clear to my soul? I stumble and start walking slowly. As I walk down the empty road, I see movement out of the corner of my eye. I turn my head, but I see, I don't see anything. I then hear a sound that I have never heard before and can never unhear. There is no creature that can make that noise. I continue on down the road. I have to keep going. There is something calling me, pulling me down the road. I am starting to see cracks in the wall, small holes that I can see into. It suddenly becomes clear to me that I, but that the wall is separating the living from the dead. A cemetery. I can see tombstones through one of the holes in the wall, but I see something else also. I'm not sure what it is, but it is, it is following along with me. If there wasn't a wall between us, it was probably, it would, it would probably be touching my side. A wave of fear and hate washes over me and I drop to my knees. Please, Father, help me stand, I whisper. I slowly struggle to my feet, move further down the road. There ahead of me is an opening. It must be the entrance to the cemetery. A, the fear is becoming so oppressive that I struggle to put one foot in front of the other. Why am I here? Where is here? Who is on the other side of the wall? What do they want? Where is everyone? And is there someone who can help me? These questions run through my head over and over again. Suddenly, I'm at the entrance, and I feel as though I am drowning in the fear and hate. The street lamps have all been extinguished, and I'm standing in absolute darkness. Suddenly, there is a glow of eyes, and the mouth opens and releases a scream that deafens, deafens even the voice in my mind, and everything goes blank and dark. I open my eyes and I'm laying on the other side of the road, almost against a forgotten home. I move slowly and struggle to get back to my feet. I turn and look, and there, at the entrance of the cemetery, stands a creature. There is no image that I have ever seen or heard that can describe what this creature looks like. I know who, or rather, what it is. It is Satan himself. Behind him, there is movement as creatures move and fight for the best position. I am frozen in place. I can't even blink, can't think, I can't scream. He speaks, and at first I don't, I don't understand the words. Suddenly, I can move, I think, and speak. He repeats himself, your soul is going to be mine. The fear that struck me when he said those words drove me to my knees, 
and tears started running down my face. No, I whispered. My soul is not yours. He laughed at me and said, There is no one to help you. You are defenseless. I can take it now if I choose. Louder, I said, No, my soul is not yours. Again, he laughed and then made a noise. The creatures behind him started forward, pointing, parting, parting, excuse me, parting as they went around him. They were coming at me to attack me and take my soul. Father, I whispered, please help me. Satan laughed and said, ha, he can't help you. On my knees, arms held forward towards the sky. Father, help me. My soul has always been and always will be yours. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. I cannot stand alone against them. Suddenly, the hordes of demons stopped in their tracks and a brilliant light beam beams down and surrounds me. They can't get through the light to get me. The ones that were the closest to me are gone. A sword appeared in the road, very deep. It was on my feet, my hands. I was on my feet, my hands on the sword. Sorry, let me, let me read that. That's so important. The sword appeared in the road very deep, like it was pounded into the road. She says, I was on my feet, my hands on the sword, gently caressing the warm light. It was not metal, but it was solid. It was not cold, but warm. When I felt someone and felt the arms encase me and the hands reach for the sword, the hands laid on top of mine. They also carried the light and warmth of the sword. Her soul will be mine and not even you, Michael, can stop it. No, demon, my soul is God's and I will never be yours. I fight against you until the end of time. I will stand with Michael and God against you. I turned slightly to Michael who towered over me. His face is obscured by the light of God. Oh, goodness. But the love that I felt made me stronger, more ready to face the demons, Satan, the hate, and fear. I no longer, I was no longer alone and afraid. I am ready, I said. We took a step toward the horde of demons, and they fled until Satan was alone and unprotected. But he was strong and drew upon the hate and fear and took a step towards us. I awoke at this point, heart racing, sweat pouring from my body. The alarm woke me up and it was time to get ready for the day. Donna, sweet sister, this is truly the dream I had. I really felt I needed to share this with you. I do believe to the depths of my soul that the battle continues every day for every person. Amen. Most will never know about the battles that happen, but I feel I was given a glance at what we all go through. I do feel that I have an attachment to Michael, and I don't think this was the first time he contacted me. He was there when I had a car accident, reminded me that I had a dream just weeks before about it and that I would be fine. He has always been there and always will be there. I do believe we, are all, we all have guardian angels, although most people never listen or feel, feel them. I am sure, not sure why Michael has chosen me. Perhaps someday it will become clear. I will be purchasing St. Michael later today after work because it does resonate with me, probably more so than any other challenge you have created. I love them all. I will eventually have them all. Thank you so much for reading my story. 
I love you, sister. Nika. Oh my goodness. I know this isn't the, the average video. It's not the norm. It's not. And if this wasn't your cup of tea, then that's okay too. It's, it really is. There's no judging here. If, you know, you believe in something totally different, that's your call. I, I, I love everybody. And we don't have to have the same faith, the same political backgrounds. We don't have to be of the same color, or heritage, nothing. I just, I love for all. I honestly do. So, I, 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 I think this is fabulous. Thank you for sharing this with us. The parts, I, I, honestly, I'm going to go through it again. I'm going to take my highlighter and I am going to, not today, not today, Satan, not today. My heart, my soul belongs to God. St. Michael's got me. The archangels got me. I am, I will fight for good every single day. And when, when that, when that evil comes, we're going to push it back. We're going to push it back and we're going to push it together. The sword is mighty. Good will prevail. Nika, this was such an amazing story. Thank you for sharing it with me. Thank you for allowing me to share it with everyone. Um, the connection for me with him is real. Maybe God put me into play with Nika. I feel that God has put me with so many of you. And for whatever reason, this is what needs to be in our presence. Or at least mine right now. And obviously sweet Nika's. Okay. If you are still with me and you appreciated that moment, right? Can you just hashtag St. Michael? Would that be okay? Just hashtag St. Michael. Okay. Ooh, baby. I am ready to save money. I am ready to get into this. I am, I am, I'm in awe. One of the, one of the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit is awe. And I'm in awe right now. Okay, today's date is 8 20 24. 5, 7, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's 192, 94, 95. I definitely have a little bit more than I had budgeted for. I am changing things up. Now, um, oh, I used, I used my budget sheet to put behind St. Michael. So I, <clears throat> oh boy. Okay. I did. I changed things up. Look, I put, I put X's in there. I thought I had the wrong budget seat sheet for a second. All right. So we have no hundreds. We have 150. And we have one, two, three twenties is 60. Yeah, he's going to sit here today. He looks really nice. One, two, two tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve fives. That's 60, right? That's 60, right? Is that 60? Um, yeah, I don't know why I was having a momentary two, two twos and one, one. Okay. And if you ask me, I have 195, right? Let's do that. One, 50, 60, um, 20, 60, four and one. We've got 195 and I'm going to put a heart and I am going to write St. Michael. Now, if you noticed. I did, I did um, print this out on cardstock, 
I think I'm going to start a brand new binder and I'm going to start saving happy messages, happy mails, maybe just inspirational. I, I feel the need. So today's the 20th and I want to keep this forever. Honestly, this might have to go in a frame and sit on the shelf next to St. Michael. Might have to. You know what's amazing? Get that right now. All right. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm like, oh, I feel it. I feel it. All right. Where are we going today? Ah. I am going to track, track, and track now. Um, oh, can I tell you? Vinny and Shannon are in the Hamptons now. They got to the second part of their vacation and they were at a home goods. So can I just show you? I wonder if I can show you. Um, did they get, to, I know I'm, I'm going so into this. They get to, they get to home goods and Vinny's like, like calls me. He's like, listen, I sent you pictures. I go, I'm driving. I can't look at them. He goes, oh, we're at home goods. I'm not going to show you pictures. And I was like, all right, let me pull over and I'll look at my phone. And I pulled over and looked at my phone and there were a couple of things. Actually, you know what? Um, yeah, I think you're going to like it when he brings it home and shows it to me. But then they put, I said to him, they added stuff to the Amazon card. I was like, I'll just pay for it. So I'm going to consider today a spend day. Um, they just wanted, they bought Halloween candle holders for themselves um, for, uh, what do they call the Tap it, the, the big ones, the skinny, long ones. I can't think of the word. Fill me in on what that is. Uh, tapered. Tapered candlesticks in Halloween mode. No, they ordered Halloween candlestick holders, and they wanted battery-operated. So, oh, yeah, yeah, I don't even know why. I just wanted to tell you that they got to their destination. Really, what I wanted to say was he sends me a text message to let me know he's here. He goes, here. I go, thank you. And they're 28, both of them. They're 28, but they still have that respect to say mom likes to know when we get somewhere. Love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, feeling, I'm feeling blessed in so many different ways. We are on to affirmations. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. I'm going to grab the affirmation. Um, I know I did this one. I did the Maya Angelou. I just never, oh, this is a good one for today. Are you ready? Okay. I am learning valuable lessons today. Satan ain't getting us. Satan's not getting us. Good is going to prevail. I am learning valuable lessons today. I am learning valuable lessons today. I have a question. Are you guys still writing down um, affirmations? If so, can you hashtag the word August? I am learning valuable lessons today. We all have the strength to call upon spirit, our spirit, our faith in whomever we talk to and know that they will be there when we need them. My spirit my spirit is the good Lord above. But everybody has different names for their God. Doesn't mean it's not the same God, that's for sure. Just, it works, right? Higher being. Oh my goodness, I am feeling, I'm feeling it. Where are we at? I am... I did not do, okay, taste Tuesday. I did not do 
my gratitude for today. Meaning I didn't write it today for yesterday. And that's what I said I would do. I was going to do it the next day. So I took a second or two and I paused to think about what I reflected on yesterday. And yesterday was another amazing day. But what, what strikes the most with me yesterday is that my conversation with my husband, it was just, it was so amazing that I was grateful for the moments in yesterday, every moment. But, and I don't think I had a bad moment yesterday. The moments were amazing. I, I, I passed someone in going into the grocery store and the way that I, like our eyes met and he was an older gentleman, like a grandpa. And I just looked at him and I smiled and I said, good afternoon. And I was like, how was your day? And he was just like, he turned around, he smiled. And it was like that moment was just, I made his day. He didn't say that, but you could just have that connection. So yesterday I was grateful for the moments. And that, you know, what rings out is I had conversations with my, 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 my girlfriends and John. And then what am, am I also grateful for it in, for yesterday? Huh. I was able to complete TJ and Kaylee's honeymoon. They are booked. I don't even know if I got to say it in yesterday's video. TJ and Kaylee's um, honeymoon is now booked. The only thing is I put the, the airline tickets on hold. I just have to go in there today and get them done. And then I'm going to tell you this. My third is my village. I am grateful for you. You give me a purpose. Not that my family doesn't. <laughs> Not that my family doesn't. But you give me a different purpose. And I appreciate that. All right. We are saving money. Saving money. Can't believe it's Tuesday. Tuesday. All right, let's grab our books. Um, a dollar a day. We're starting with you. Grabbing two dollars. Two twos, not two dollars. Two twos. Because we're bringing four dollars to the party. Whoop, whoop, party, party. And I'm going to grab a different color today. Because, oh, it's not so different. Almost the same. So today's the 20th. And we have four adding into this. We have a nice amount of money. 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 60. 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 77, 78. That makes sense. How can that be? 20 times 4 equals 80. Why am I off? 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80. I counted so crazy. So crazy. Are you... You know what? I was actually speaking to Lisa yesterday. She said there was something called the blue moon last night. Oh my gosh. I said, girl, I'm so tired. She goes, it's the moon. And then have you felt the glitches of Mercury retrograde? If so, hashtag planet. Just hashtag the word planet. I won't make you write out Mercury retrograde. I, I have felt it. We got to bring in Roger. I don't even know where Roger is. <laughs> he is right next to me. Roger is at the point. Oh, I didn't color in my flip flops yesterday, but I did give it money, right? Did give it money. Let's give flip flops. We'll make it pink. I guess I was so excited to put money in. And now we've got the sun today. And we're adding 20. And I'm, I'm, I can't believe we're into the 20s. This is where this savings challenge is going to rock it. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19, 20, 21. $210. Ah, I did bring $5 today. I didn't think I was going to be able to. So what I'd like to do is pull one of the back ones. And ooh, that's two. That's one. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. Hello, Donna. These are the completed. These are in numeric order. So what I'd like to do is, oh, this is just the headline card. I would like to take the back one. I am ready to receive money. We're going to give this $8 today. I am ready to receive money. This is free, link down below. And since we only brought five, I'm going to grab three. One, two, and three. Three. And inside of this challenge, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, thirty-seven, thirty-nine, forty-one, forty-three, forty-five, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, and fifty-four. All right, fifty-four dollars saved towards a one thirty-six savings challenge. A dollar a day, another dollar a day, not the dollar a day, but this one is for me a dollar a day all the way up to December twenty-sixth. Yep, and we did finish one yesterday, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to. I'm going to take this out. No, I'm going to leave that in there. I'm going to leave that in there. So I can't get confused. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23. So each row is 10. And this is going to get me after Christmas spending money. Um, no Tiana today. Um, no Stitch today. Emergency! Yay! Emergency! Guess what? We are giving emergency forty dollars. Yep, forty dollars for emergency. I hope you guys like the thumbnail. I just took it. Let me know. Did you like the thumbnail? Hashtag thumbnail. I was trying to get this equal, right? So if I bring twenty and twenty today. I finished out these two rows, right? So maybe what I do is I got to come in with a 20. Maybe I'll come in with a 40 again next time, right? Maybe I could come in with a 40. And then I could do 40 and 40 and then come in with 30s. How awesome would that be? I don't know. Sounds like a plan. Could it change? Oh, yes. Yes. 10. 20, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. We have $460. Now, I'm not sure if I told you that the, all the, I, I know I told you all the cars were getting undercoated, right? I didn't tell you, I don't know if I told you that the 88 Ford Ranger broke down last week. John got it to our friend's business. And his guy is going to put the clutch in it. So I ordered the part. And then they said that it was missing another part. So John had to go pick up another $65 part today. And then I say to him, see, this is where, and this is where I keep things 100% honest. I say to John, what is this going to cost to repair? Because he has a tendency of throwing things at me all at once. And it always has to do with cars. Always. He goes, I don't know. I don't know. How much is it going to cost for this guy to put the clutch in? I, I need some information. Need. I don't know. Whatever it is, it is. Mm. Are you feeling me on that one? If you're feeling me on that, um, hashtag the word budget. I find budgeting and expenses to be so important. So, and I'm okay. It happens, right? It happens. Will the money come out of this? Will the money come out of, oh, poop? Will the money come out of emergency again? But I have the money. If 
I'm just, I, I just need a, a thought process. I guess I need a thought process. Okay. I think we're done with this binder. And we're going to jump into our 5K. 5K is going to get some love. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this one last. I think I have extra money today. I think I do. We're going to go into... Shoot, I'm confusing myself today. All right. I gave emergency 40. 50 is going to Salem, but I thought I bought 60 for Salem, right? All right, guess what? This is all on standby. I, I'm, I'm putting the brakes on, right? Changing things up because my goal today was to finish the sandlot. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm game. I'm game for. So we got three and one is four six uh, let's call them in let's call them in and make sure we have our numbers correctly we'll do three and two is five one and four equals five plus and that makes ten ten fifteen twenty 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 four twenty seven twenty eight nine $30? $30? I think that's what we had. I think that's what I had allocated. Um, 10, 20, 5, 30. $30 allocated for summer. Oh, I wasn't done. I forgot all about this other one. Oh my gosh. I forgot. We still have $10 in there. All right, hold on. Um, $30 is going into here. Let's see what did this, what did this save us? Because I don't, this was random. 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 55, 65, 75. Oh my God, 75. Ooh, 75, why is it mixed up? 75. 80, 85, 85, 87, 89, 91, 93, 95, 97, 98, 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Ooh, that's a nice save. That is $130. 130. Okay. $130 with the sand lot. I am looking for a big old paper clip. And we got one. Okay. Looking at this paper paper clip, can you all see that? Oh, look. Does it remind you of Beetlejuice? I don't know. Beetlejuice just came to my head. Why am I thinking Halloween? Hold on. We're not there yet. So, ringing that bell, grabbing that dollar, taking this, pulling out the folder, switching things up, flying by the seat of my pants, being extremely spontaneous. Being extremely spontaneous. I am not following the rules today. I still have this to do, and I still have Salem to do, right? I don't give a hoot. Nope, we're changing it. We're going to give this four, and one is five, and three, and two is five, and that makes ten. And we will readjust all that in a minute. Now this is a double-sided challenge, right? You see this? This binder is now complete. Oh, this is, okay, this is working. Oh, Mickey, you're gonna have to get filled with something else. I did use the old type of um, label maker. Do you guys remember these from when you were kids? I, I don't know why the U didn't come out, but I still kept it anyway. 
I, I think they're fun. I have them. So I had stuck it on the side so I knew what it was. Okay, hold on. Oh, this is like so much fun. Inside of this envelope, 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 55, 65, 70, 2, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. We have $80 in Sandlot. 80. We'll just write 80. Because we did both sides as a summer challenge this summer. Okay. Ring that bell again. Love this. Grabbing another dollar from the back. All right, so these two dollars get to go into the ding, ding, ding. And that's important to keep track of, right? And we're going to put um, Sandlot. And I'm going to add one dollar, so that's 303. And 304. Loving it. I watched, I, I was watching Mama Bear today. I was watching all her videos while I was budget with Mama Bear. Um, while I was working, right? So she was sit, she was, she was on my computer and it felt like we were hanging out together as I worked. Today was Mama Bear day. And this year she is taking the money out of the ding, ding, ding and using it at the end of the month. Next year she says, She's going to try and keep the monies in the folder for the entire year. She's going to try hard. I'm going to, I'm going to be her cheerleader for that one. I would love to see her do that. All right, we have two binders left. This one usually gets 35. This one gets 50. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I, I cross my heart. I knew I had extra money. But that's not the way that I wrote it out because I had $30 for summer. I changed emergency to 40. I know that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, right? It's, it's here. Okay. Now what I would like to do is this. Summer is now complete. That disappears now. And look, Halloween is coming on Thursday. If you're excited for Halloween, hashtag a Halloween emoji. I'm like so excited for Halloween. All right. Actually, you know what? I wanted $60 for, that's why I'm off. And that's the truth. I wanted 60 because I was off on one cauldron and I, that was kind of driving me crazy. Um, oh, but you know what? This will make it right. Oh, there you go. That works. Okay. So this would have been 10, right? To finish this one. 10. And 20. I'm just going to use this again. And 20. Oh, wow. Okay. I wasn't, I wasn't doing math right. I was thinking 25. All right. That works. So now what do we have? We have 120, uh, 220, 40, 60 in here. We should have $260 in here. 5, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25, 26. That works. Oh, baby. All right. Hocus Pocus, we will see you soon. In fact, I told John that we have to watch Hocus Pocus before we go to Salem. Like, what? I go, yep, you do. Why? I said, because I want you to. And that's it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. What am I doing? I want to use pink. Um... All right, I had to bring 35 every day. This is gonna kill me. All right, no big deal. 20, ready, 20. That's getting the full 20. 
that's getting 25, 30, 35. That means those are all 20s now. That doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. What am I, what am I, what it, what's the big deal? There's no big deal. So maybe tomorrow, instead of bringing 35, I get to bring 40. Maybe I find that extra $5 and for, and then this will be done. Maybe the next two times have to be 40. 40, 40, 35, and 40. All right, we'll work it out. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75, 85, 95, 200, and 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 220. All right. I overthink my numbers too much. Do you do that too? You overthink your numbers. If you overthink your numbers, can you hashtag numbers? So I know I'm not alone. Okay, we're done. What an amazing video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish I had like a, um, you know, like when you see a, an office and it's decorated with certain things. Like I wish I could look at this, but I have three monitors. Like, this is a nice thing to look at on a regular basis. Yeah. It actually almost limits power, strength, uh, protection, and or um, a feeling. All right, Laura, thank you. Nika, thank you. I want to say I love you as all. You are the best. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.